Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to Power Ups Beginner Series. In this session, we are going to talk about edit form in Canvas app. So now, let's get started. In our earlier session, we have discussed how we can create a new form and how we can store the information to the SharePoint list. Now it's time for edit form. If you haven't visited my previous video, I recommend you to visit my new forms video. After that, this edit form will become so easy for you. Right? Now let's get started. Now in order to open the edit form inside the power apps, we should have some grid mechanism from where user can navigate and open the specific item for edit right now we are going to cover grid designing in my next session but here to explain you the edit form i am preparing one rough grid structure for you now let me show you that thing in detail now this is my home screen but let me just add one more button over here and let me just add view my applications let me just add this button as view my live application right now what i want to do here is let's just add one more screen on our page so i'm just adding one more screen one more scrollable screen for grid right let's just make its header as view my application and now let me just add one gallery over here so just select this data card go to insert select this arrow go to gallery and let's add blank vertical gallery over here like this right so this has added this gallery over here to me let's add that gallery inside the data card Control x and let's just add that here right now let's add few labels over here so i'm just adding one two and three labels over here we are going to prepare the step by step grid in my next session so you will get a better idea on that and now let's press one edit button over here so i'm just pressing one button for edit so let's just add that button as edit so that we can edit the line item right now let's make that size like this so all the items will be appearing like this now i want to show the line item from my list the list name is leaves right so i just added that now here there is a leave title department and the name of the approver right now let's say i want to see only my leaves right so i just wanted to make a filter on the line items over here but we are not focusing on that at this moment let's focus on the edit form now what i want to do here is whenever i'm clicking on edit button for any of the item it should open edit form for that item right before we do that let me add its item id as well so that we will get better idea let me select this grid and let me add one more label select the gallery click on pencil and add the label I want to show its item ID right so I'm showing its item ID like this now let's say whenever I'm clicking on that it should open the form with item ID 7 right now we are using we are going to use the same form that we have created for the new form right we are not going to create any other separate form for that right now how can form determine that my form is edit form or new form right in order to do that what we need to do here is we need to pass a context from this particular grid to the items from the edit form right I know this is confusing let me explain you practically so whenever I'm clicking on edit button how should I know that I need to pass 
open the edit form for this line item right for that just select your form edit button select the edit button now first of all we need to initialize the edit form for that just use edit form form 1 and then navigate to the screen 2 which is for new form as well its transition is cover and let's say here we need to pass the context so basically I need to pass this selected item right for that we just need to use selected item this is the name of the context variable and inside that let's pass this gallery selected item gallery one dot selected so this entire context we need to pass from here let's just close this one and let me just format this code so this will look like this right now what happened here is once you click on that your context is passed from that form to here right but it is not showing anything here the reason is that in edit form we must have to pass items inside the form for that just select your screen select your form that we have prepared in our previous step just select item event from here and you can see that we don't have anything here here basically we need to pass the context that we have passed from the grid view so selected item is the context so we just need to pass that so it will show the entire record pre-populated over here right now we don't need to make any changes we already have done everything with our new form you can also see that this field is now visible to me because I am opening the edit form right let me go back here let me click on view my leave applications now here I just need to pass a navigation code so let me just use navigate screen 3 its transition type is cover right now let me click there this is my grid now I want to edit this item need I am suffering from cold right click on edit so you can see that all the fields has been pre-populated successfully here right now I want to as a manager I want to approve this one I am selecting approve and I am just adding my comment as leave approve and this will also work as expected save function will also work similar as a new form and click on save so my item has been update, updated or submitted successfully right now whenever I'm going over there and click on edit item I can see the approved status over there right so this is how we can implement the edit form inside the power apps so you can see that beauty of the form here once we create the new form we can utilize the similar new form over there for the edit only thing is that only most important thing is that we need to set the item property for the edit form and that's how this will work in power apps hope this is clear for you now i request you all to practice this lesson with your power apps and feel free to ask me questions in the comment section if you have any right so stay tuned with me in my next session for the grid formatting and best design practices that we need to consider while we are developing the canvas app stay tuned with me to my next session if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel Stay tuned with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your WhatsApp number. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.